All right, let's do Hipper. This is for Kyro. And boop. I do love me some Hipper. Oigit is, Oigit is better just because the heal is so much more... Uh, uh, the heal on this ship is amazing, right? You put a heal on this ship and it's like, oh. So yeah, Oigit is all amaze balls. Okay, I hear you, Sinsuke. I keep I keep one type of tequila in this house. Um, oh, purely tier eight matchmaking. That's curious. I'm going to regret not having the Hydro with sub on the other side, but yeah, it is what it is. Standard battle, even. Hmm. Hornet on each team. Massa, Vanguard, Turpid, Seaton, and Attack, Baltimore, Tillin. One radar for them, one for... Uh, two ravers, two for them, one for us. But it's a standard battle, so the radar should be a little less impactful. All right, we'll see how it goes. Um, I keep one kind of tequila in this house. I think I've told this story before, but a number of years ago, we were at a, a lovely uh, Japanese steakhouse, and we got to know the bartender, and he That's let us try good. something. This was 12, 13 years ago. Let us try something new for him, his new, his new tequila. And I had never shot tequila before, so he just poured us up two of... It was a Blanco, so it was clear. Poured us up two of these shots and chilled it down, you know, sh shook it on a, in a cocktail shaker, chilled it down, poured us, and I took a shot of this. And I was like, this is amazing. This is delicious. And my buddy, who pretty much had given up drinking tequila due to a unfortunate Jose Cuervo story a number of years before, um, was like, that's evil. Keep that away from me after sampling it. So now I went out and bought a bottle. I like a good Blanco, but... You're talking about a nice salted caramel color, right? That's telling me, you just you just told me it's probably uh, an Anejo or, or uh, a Reposado, right? So it's an aged tequila. A Blanco, of course, not really being aged significantly very much at all. Um, that particular brand of tequila, they quit importing it shortly thereafter. I bought, I, I bought two bottles, stashed one and put the other on the shelf. And somewhere along the way, um, uh, opened them up and so on and so forth. But they're... Those bottles are gone now, or the first one I still have, right? But the bottom line is you can't, you pretty much can't get that tequila anymore. You can't find it in the States. Oh, Hornet. Oh, Hornet. I'm just not afraid of your planes, man. Um, but then, about four months ago, I was wandering through a little liquor store not far from my office, looking for something totally different. And I stumbled across, uh, I believe... A Reposado bottle of this particular brand. Again, a brand they don't import anymore. Like, you can't find this stuff on the shelf. And I was like, yes! And so I bought it. And I brought that home and sampled it. And you know what? That's pretty good stuff. Again, I am I typically don't go for aged tequilas, but this stuff was quite delicious. So I'm glad to have it around. All right, the sub is out here in front of us. That feels bad. Zed's got this dude locked up on Hydro, so he's really going to hate his life. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. Spotted by planes, so the Veneto gets free shots. Amazing. Uh, and just like that, better. there goes half my HP. Half of my 44,000 HP. Amaze balls. Zed did some good work there, though. Zed's hydro there made a big, big difference. After a few days of R and R, I'll be ready for more action. I'm a little irritated that that idiot Hornet gets citadels on me at an angle he shouldn't be able to because I am like broadside to his drop reticle, but it's like magic; he just gets them. That sub is out here somewhere as well, so y'all keep that in mind, kids. Yeah, see, I warned you, Brandenburg. And you took them all. Every single one of them. And so now, basically, I can't push. I cannot push a sub and a battleship.
He's literally sitting on the surface over here as well. That Brandenburg is just sailing to his death. He has no idea where this guy is. None. Um, Richtofen, it's called Tezon. T-E-Z-O-N. And for I think the, I think the the um, the distillery is still in, still in business. I just think that whoever it was that was importing it either lost or gave up the license to do so. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I don't know why this Brandenburg is pushing. All he's going to do is get himself killed. I'll get the stern turrets around. Um, Praetorius, it's hard to say. I don't actually play that commander on my Kaga, so I'm not sure I have... I don't think I have a good answer for it. I'd have to try it first. Or I'd want to try it first. Come get some. Time for some fisting. Yeah, we're, we're going to have no eyes on this Veneto. There's a hammer when you need one. Our salmon is literally just going to sit there until he's dead. They're just dropping depth charges on him because they know where he—they know exactly where to look for him. He has—he's barely moving. <clears throat> Coal for her curry. Okay, that seems reasonable. Yeah, this should help. What is my depth charge pattern in this thing? Is it like York? Six K bombs? Six K bombs. Okay, good to know. You're gonna have to depth charge him, Zed. Yeah, that's never... Nah, you're going to have to depth charge him, man. There you go. There you go. Keep him lit. Excellent. I love seeing aggressive destroyer prey like this. This this submarine is totally hung out to dry. He has no friends. He He's, he's going to drive... In order to get away from the Zed, he's got to drive straight to me. Fighter returning to ship. He's got to drive straight to me. And he's going to be out of... He's going to be out of... Um, battery in a moment. Because Zed's got him locked up on Hydro. Here he comes. He has to come topside now. He's completely out of battery. Oh, the Zed's doing the Lord's work over here. How is he still down? His battery is zero. I think, it's, I think he's still dead anyway. There he is. He's finally coming topsides. He's dead. Yeah. Well, the other flank is not doing so well, which feels bad, if I'm honest. If this Finito is going to push, let's go greet him. Where's our hornet? Hornet's so busy on the side. We really need that. We need that hornet. Yeah, it makes me wonder how many how many depth charges he had to land for that to work. Well, fair enough, Sinsuki. You're like me. You're, you're. It's okay. You're allowed to be a snob about certain things. Me, I'm a bourbon snob. It's cool. Everybody has their their thing that they that they prefer or enjoy. It's fine. All right, we have no eyes, which I don't care for. This is a mistake, but I kind of don't care. Or do I not? Or do I actually care? I don't know.
Ah, oh, the smoke's gonna... Oh, the... Oh, he turned around. Look at him, he turned around. Okay. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. Oh, the Massachusetts is here. Check it out. Well, I'm gonna die. My mission now is to take some of these jerkwads with me. Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. Ah, much better. He knows I've got. Oh, it's Striker! Striker, you jerk! For more action. Die, Striker. Brawling Hipper strikes again. <laughs> I'm just bummed I somehow didn't get the credit for the kill on Striker. I guess I guess the, the destroyer torpedoes got him. Oh well. Which tells me that so one of their destroyers is up here in the cap. Brandenburg's going back for him. Feels like that's probably a mistake. Does Brandenburg have hydro? Brandenburg has no hydro. So that's going to hurt. Well, and I got to wreck the... I got to mess up the Hornets' planes, too, right? He, like, What's up, Zath? How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Oh, it's the Talin. Oh, son. Okay, Brandenburg. You know where he is. Go get him. Like, this isn't rocket surgery, man. Come on. Mmm. The Fenyang is also up here. Of course, the Talin also has torpedoes. Which um, our Brandenburg, I'm betting, has forgotten. He's going to take one of those. He's dead. He got his torpedoes off. Hornet torpedoes coming in. Kagero torpedoes coming in. Talin is going to die. Yeah, he's dead man. Kagero's a dead man. As soon as they drop, they bother to shoot at him. So the CAG's one job, basically, is to sit in the cap and block this guy. Block this guy. And don't die, but he's going to die right here. No! You stupid! All you had to do was block the cap. All you had to do was block the cap. Instead, you thought you'd be cute and try to win a gunfight with someone who had 8,000 more health than you? No. This was not intelligent. Now it's completely on the Hornet to do something about this guy to try to get resets. The Zed can't. The Akazuki is defending their cap, so they basically they can't. I mean, our Veneto is here, but they can't win this cap because the Aki's in it. Time for some fisting. It's completely on our Hornet to defend this cap circle. That does not leave me with a tremendous amount. Oh, oh, he brought the Mitchells. Oh, this could be really good. Come on. Oh no, no, I want to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the resets, ladies and gentlemen. All the resets. <laughs> and now our Zed has managed to somehow get himself killed. Feels bad. That's going to allow... The Veneto was capping. He's not. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. I feel like... I feel like Gru, right? That meme about... 
He was capping. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. <laughs> Wait, what? So you're going to send a ship that's actually vulnerable to this dude's torpedoes to go defend the cap. What could possibly go wrong, ladies and gentlemen? What could possibly go wrong? Especially since he can sit in smoke while the opposing Hornet spots for him. Ooh, he's going to use his fancy smoke. Ooh, play and counterplay, ladies and gentlemen. Better get your guns around, son. Hornet's trying to drop anyway. He missed. A crowbar would come in handy right about now. He should be faster than these torpedoes. Okay. At a minimum, yeah, I was gonna say, at least the Veneto is going to push him out of the cap, but we're still down on points. The North Carolina can't win a gunfight with an Aki he can't see. What he needs to do is stop shooting and make the carrier spot him. Okay, he dodged one set. Ooh, that could be a good hit. That could be a good hit. Ooh, that was a good hit. All right, now we're finally holding their points back. This will let us to catch up again. Yeah, Striker, this has been an interesting match, to say the least. I won't pretend that I played amazing, right? We had kind of the weak side over there with the hipper um, in terms of just... Uh, you know, there are only like three ships on each team on that flank. Like, everybody else went west. No, he has Kyroan. He's done good work. And he's smart enough to back off, see? He's not charging this guy. He's going to take one of these Deepwater Torp. He's going to take two of them. Well, that kind of hurts. You should have just completely backed off of this. There was absolutely no reason... You're dead. I was about to applaud him for backing away from the Fen Yang because there was no need to go chase him when you can play on this side of the cap circle angled away. See you, Sully. Have a good one, man. But, um, yeah, that didn't, um, uh, that didn't work. North Carolina might actually be able to finish capping. No, he's bringing the bombs back to reset him, I guess. No, don't turn into that. Uh, you just did it wrong. He's going to take 15,000 and two fires from this strike. That's going to feel awful. Seriously, right, Czar? Called it. 15K and two fires. Because our Veneto suicided, I don't think we can win anymore. I think this is going to be a loss. <clears throat> well, I was all yeah, it's exactly right, Storm Guards. I was all proud of I was all proud of the Veneto, right? He pushed the guy out of the cap and he didn't chase him. There was no need to chase him. You just push him out of the cap long enough for us to win. That was all he needed to do. He sat right here where the torpedoes couldn't impact him and he started to turn away. But then he turned broadside to the torpedoes that he knew had to be coming, right? I mean, come on. Nice hit. Oh, 400 health. An AP bomb will actually do some good work there now. And see, now this NorCal is in deep trouble because the planes will keep him lit all day for the Akizuki to farm him for the last bit of his health. And once, once this guy dies, we can't win anymore. Watching these battleships make a long series of bad decisions. Just like that. He just told the guy where he was. He's going to die anyway, I guess. But, like, one long series of bad battleship decisions means that we lose. I don't understand why you brought them over here just to pull them out. Our Hornet is doing the best job that he can, but he's not going to be able to win this game by himself. 
we had a massive HP advantage, and we just pissed it away because our battleship suicided, which feels awful. Totally, Zath. Look, Zath, I got the torpedo striker at, like, point-blank range. I got the torpedo two battleships with my hipper. I had a great time. Everything was everything was well. Hit him. Nope. You reset him, but you didn't kill him. He's going to kill you. His AP is going to wipe you out in eight more seconds. You're dead. Some games make me just make me just make me sad. That was definitely a game that made me sad. See, this guy tried, right? Our Hornet tried. This dude, this dude don't understand how to win. Don't understand how to win games, right? They don't understand how to win. 43 planes for this Fen Yang. So Goodness you gracious. get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. That's right. I have no idea why that's not showing up. Why is that? Oh, wait a minute. They changed that on me. Hold on. I know how to fix that. They added a new setting to sound alerts that I caught the other night when I was setting something up, but I didn't change it for this um, this sound layout. So